Hey guys, it's Brett here with the Tuning School, and this Tech Tuesday, we're gonna talk about some of the features of the HP Tuner software and how to change the view. This is a problem I've seen a lot of you guys having when you're updating to the new 3.0 and 3.2 software. I've got a lot of phone calls about it, so today we're gonna go over really quickly how easy it is to make sure that you get all your tables when you update to the new software. All right guys, so here we are inside the HP Tuner software and now typically what happens when you download the news, newest version of the software is it's gonna give you a prompt in the very beginning and it's gonna say, do you want imperial or metric as far as the, how you want the data to be displayed? And then it's gonna ask you if you want basic view or advanced view. Now, most people just click right through this. They don't actually read what it says, but you always wanna select advanced view. So if you do not, which a lot of people have not, and they've you know made that mistake, and that's okay, I'm gonna show you kind of what the results of that are and how to fix it. So let's say that I went through here and selected basic view, and I actually couldn't get that window to pop back up for me, but that's okay. But for uh, all intensive purposes, let's say I've selected a uh, basic view today when I first downloaded this software. So this is version 3.2.22. So I downloaded it, I selected basic. If I go into engine, I go, okay, under engine and airflow, all I have is airflow final minimum. That's different. That's not very many tables there. Normally there's a lot more. That's kind of strange. Well, let's go look at airflow. If we go look at airflow, all we have is general and we've got the mass airflow calibration and some map sensor linear and offsets. Kind of strange too, right? Fuel's the same type of story. Look at our injector tables. All we have for injector tables is flow rate versus KPA. And then the same type of thing, if we go and look inside of all these, these are all extremely limited on what we can actually change and see. Um, the same will go for the spark table. You know, we've got our high octane, low octane. We don't really have very many adders. We have a few, but there's whole, not a whole lot here. And the same kind of goes for torque management as well. This is very sparse as well. So this is a very, very common problem. And a lot of guys call and they go, man, I updated this new software. It sucks. It's got no tables in it. Don't fear, it's easy to fix. So what we have to do is we have to go over here to edit, go down to view, and select advanced. It's gonna tell us that this change requires you to close and reopen any parameter viewer forms for the change to take effect. Basically what this is saying is if I wanna actually see my tables, I have to close this file and reopen it. So we'll select okay. And then we'll go up here and we'll just go file, open, and we'll reopen this exact file. Uh, no, I do not want to license this file. So now, we're in that same exact torque management section that we're just looking at, but look at how many more tables there are. And the same kind of goes for all of this. We ended up with a general tab. We didn't even have that before. All we had was idle, you know, and then idle, we go over, we can look at airflow. These are all the areas in our airflow tab. Um, same thing for here with our airflow stuff. We've got, you know, we still have that mass airflow stuff and we have the map sensor stuff, but we've got all of this stuff added to it as well. So don't fear if you don't have the tables you're looking for, try doing the edit view advanced and see if that fixes your problem. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions on how to modify your software to make it look the way you want, or if you're missing tables, then feel free to contact us here at the Tuning School. We can do our best to help you, or we can put you in contact with HP Tuners. Our number here is 727-264-8875, and don't forget to stay tuned.